One of the last things you want to come across when you're digging in a backyard is a snake. But that's exactly what happened for three Alice Springs workers. Yeah, Tim came across a snake with the excavator, kind of tipped it and it came straight out the hole and yeah, lucky it didn't, didn't in, injure the snake at all. He was pretty placid, he was just rolled up in a ball there and uh, yeah, he, yeah, he didn't even move like we were standing looking at him for a few minutes. And it wasn't just any old snake, it was a western brown, one of Australia's many deadly species. Seeking shelter in what turned out to be a spider's hole, the snake was successfully extracted and taken away. Uh, yeah, definitely. I was very surprised. Because, yeah, it's freezing cold this morning, I'm surprised they even got out, mm. uh, out of its hole. They're turning up in other places too. I only spoke to a bloke uh, two days ago. He was out bike riding and uh, he uh, was on his mountain bike and a snake shot across the path and it was that big. Days before catching the western brown, he was also called to catch a juvenile mulga snake, also known as a king brown. He says the snake was probably only a month old, which means it's hatched unusually late in the year. I presume probably because of the extreme dry weather last year and it was reported by other keepers and, and other catchers across Australia that they've been seeing juveniles and having late hatchings. And it's likely the young snakes are more active as they try to get food to survive over winter and are more easily able to warm up their bodies than adults. So if they're sheltering on just a little bit of tin, it's easier for them to wake up than a big snake with a big body that has to wake up a whole, whole big body compared to a small one. A friendly reminder that it's not just the cold that can bite over winter. Mitchell Abram, ABC News, Alice Springs.